throat, right, Wolf, hiding out for six years from three countries interested in him, Sweden for rape charges, uh, the U.K. for breaking bail, but crucially here in the U.S. for his possible involvement. Uh, you'll remember the U.S. intelligence community views WikiLeaks as a middleman, a cutout, so to speak, between Russian hackers and distributing those stolen emails from the Democratic Party as part of the interference campaign in the 2016 election. For six years, he's been in that embassy in Ecuador, but myself and my colleague Jenna McLaughlin, we are told by multiple sources that any day now, as soon as any day now, he could lose that refuge. Ecuador's embassy in London has been his refuge from British, Swedish, and American authorities for six years. But now, sources tell CNN that Julian Assange's stay there is in jeopardy, opening the WikiLeaks founder to arrest by British authorities and possible extradition to the U.S. This is something Assange has repeatedly called unjust from the embassy's balcony. And the threats towards me, my staff, and WikiLeaks as a publisher will not be tolerated. Recently, the Ecuadorian government cut off his access to the Internet, making it virtually impossible for him to manage WikiLeaks. Assange is also now only allowed to see his lawyers, who say their mobile phones are jammed while they're inside the embassy. He is dealing with multiple lawsuits. As a candidate, Donald Trump repeatedly praised WikiLeaks on the campaign trail. WikiLeaks, I love WikiLeaks. However, U.S. intelligence believes that WikiLeaks acted as a middleman or cutout for Russia as its hackers stole Clinton campaign emails and then distributed them to the world, all part of Russia's interference in the 2016 election. CNN reported last year that the U.S. has prepared charges to arrest Assange. Attorney General Jeff Sessions called it a priority. We've already begun to step up our efforts, and uh, whenever a case can be made, we will seek to put some people in jail. Assange's lawyer, Melinda Taylor, told CNN, quote, The concern from day one until the present is that if Julian Assange walks out of the embassy, he will be extradited to face what the executive director of the ACLU described as an unprecedented and unconstitutional prosecution under the U.S. Espionage Act. Still, Ecuador's newly elected president, Lenin Moreno, is under increasing pressure from the U.S. to expel Assange who was fleeing rape allegations in Sweden when he first sought refuge at the embassy. Sweden is no longer pursuing the charges against Assange. We hope to have a positive result in the short term on this issue that has caused us more than a nuisance. Well, Ecuador, in light of that nuisance, appears to be applying two kinds of pressure on Julian Assange. One, uh, pressure uh, on, on him by just restricting his access, making it very uncomfortable for him to be there, not able to run WikiLeaks, uh, not able to see his friends, his supporters, etc., but also that pressure from the outside on the Ecuadorian government uh, to, to, to force him out in effect, hoping in effect that either he chooses to go or he's forced to go. I am told by Assange's lawyers that if he is, if there is an extradition request to the UK, if he leaves the embassy, that they will challenge that extradition request in British courts. Wolf.